count, the first thing you should do is make sure how many you have. So, and it's better you label them one, two, three. I count up to 20, is that correct? Is that what everybody else got? Yes or no, 20 numbers? And remember the median is P, P50. So let me do this the, the long way, or you can just see that the median is the two in the middle, okay? But let's do this using the percentiles. So we need to find P, P50. And to find P50, remember the first step, step one, is to do NK over 100, which in this case, this is 20. Uh, N is 20, K is 50 over 100. How much is that? Okay, what is it? Professor, how did you get 50 again? Because it's the, the median is P50, right? So the median is the same thing as P50. Is that okay? The median is always P50, always, which is the same thing as also Q2. All right, so you use a calculator, how much is this, anybody? It's actually 10, no? Yes or no? All right, so then for step two, since this is a, a whole number, to find the location of P50, remember you had to add 0.5, so therefore the solution is, is in location 10.5. So which one is location 10.5? Okay. So that's why I told you you should level it like this. 10.5 is between these two. So if you add these two and divide by two, that will be the, the median, which makes sense. It should be 20, two plus 25 divided by two. So how much is that? Just, you need to have your calculator ready, people. How much is this? Yes, 23.5. So that's that's the median, okay, for this particular problem, okay? Now, the mode is the one that repeats the most. Which one repeats the most here? Oh, Professor, I have a question. Yes. So this is not the same one we're doing, right? The... No, they're different numbers. Yeah, they're different numbers. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, what, is the, um, what is the mode in here? You had two twelves, right? Yeah, two twelve, three um threes. Two thirty sevens, two threes. Do we have any that repeats three times? No. No. So therefore the mode is none. There is none of them. Okay? That's it. Professor, so mode, let's say when we have more than more than two or three numbers that are the same. So like we don't put like three twenty five. No. No, it will be just the one that repeat, if that repeats the most. If it is not a single one, there is no mode. Oh, That's it. Okay. 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 Oh my God. Okay. Right. Thank you. I feel so smart now. Okay. You are smart. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. All right. So now, let's do P P forty now. Uh, same process that we did here. Okay. So step one. Professor, let me just take you back. I'm so so sorry. Yes. So let's say if if it only has one number that repeats. So we would put that number, right? Yes, yeah, that's okay, it, okay? okay. Right. No worries, no worries. All right, so for this one, for step one, uh, N now is, uh, N is still 20, that's not gonna change, but now the value for K is 40. So use a calculator, tell me how much is this, people. This should equal to eight, is that okay? Just check. Yes, yes. Sorry, right. sorry, I'm gonna stop. For step two, if in step one, you get a whole number, remember the, this is the only part that could be, I guess you can call it tricky. The location for P40 uh, is gonna be, you have to add 0.5 if you end up with a whole number here. So you end up with a whole number, then this will be 8.5. So you have to add 0.5 to the location. But that's why I told you it's very important that, Yes. So what is the, the 8.5 location? The 8.5 location will be between location, uh, what? Location A 
and location nine, okay? So all you have to do is add those two. So location um, A is what, 18, location nine is 20, and then divide by two. So therefore this is 19. And remember, all that means is that 40%, 40% of all the numbers are less than 19, which is right here. That's all it means, okay? So to find the IQR by definition is equals to Q3 minus Q1. But remember, Q3 is nothing more than P75, and Q1 is nothing more than P25. So therefore, we need to find P25 in P75. So I'll do that just to practice more. And then uh, that will give you the IQR. So let me do P25. Okay? So for P25, remember uh, the step one is N, which N doesn't change for this problem. It's going to be 20. But now the value for K is 25. And then divided by 100. So how much is this? So then this is equals to 5. So this is a whole number. So therefore, what will be the location of, of P25? It will be 5.5. Remember, you had to add 0.5 if you get a whole number. Now, you just look to the list. If you look to the list, how much is P25 then? Location 5.5 is going to be between location uh, 5 and location 6, which in this case, it just happens to be both of them are 12s. So this will be 12 plus 12 divided by 2, which obviously is just 12. Is that okay? All right. Now, if that was not, not clear, then let's do now P75. Same thing. But now step 1, this is going to be 20 times 75 divided by 100. How much is that? All right. So using the... The same same reasoning, what will be the location of P75 then? It should be 15.5, right? Yeah. And what is location 15.5? Uh, so remember, all you have to do is look between uh, 15 uh, and 16. 16. So that will be add those two and divide by 2. So how much is 30 plus 33? Divided by 2. So 31.5? 31.5, yes. All right, so that's uh, P75. So therefore, the IQR is going to be 31.5 minus uh, P25, which was uh, 12. And how much is this? What is it? Yeah, it's 31.5 minus 12. How much is that? 19.5. 19.5. Okay, so this is the IQR, okay? Now, to determine if it is outliers, you need to find a lower bound and an upper bound. The lower bound, remember, is Q1 minus uh, 1.5 times the IQR. Times the IQR. So Q1 is 12 uh, minus 1.5, and the IQR was 19.5. So you just have to be very careful with the, uh, with the calculator. How much is this? What did you get? I got minus 17.5. Uh, Anybody else get that? 17.25. Okay. Then we need the Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So in this case, it will be uh, Q3, remember, was 31.5 plus 1.5 times 19.5. And how much is that? 60.75. Is that what you got? Just check. Let me know. Let's see if you have any outliers or not. The biggest you can half is 60.75 and the lowest you can go is 17.25 so anything in here is considered okay and this is not okay so now look to the list let's look to the list do you have any numbers 
that are less than 17.25 in the list? No. Do you have any numbers that are bigger than 60.75? No. So therefore, uh, you have any outliers and you say no. That's it. And you, if you do, you should never have more than two or three. Okay. Is that okay? Any questions? Speak now. Oh, again? You should not have more than two or three. So the empirical rule says if you move two standard deviations, for two standard deviations, that means you should have 95% of the data. Now, how many data points do we have here total? What was the value for N? 20, right? 20. 20. So therefore the question is, what is 95% of 20? That's what it's asking, okay? So what, let's say X is 95% is 0.95 times 20. How much is that? I think that's 18 or something, but just multiply, tell me how much. Uh, yes, actually it's 19, that's it. So you have 19 data points, that's it. Is that okay? Any questions on this? No. All right. I told you it's not it's not that bad. So, like I say, this is a, this will be given, so you don't have to worry about computing the table. So this is the sum of the frequencies. Uh, this is the sum of the frequency times the midpoint, and then this is the sum of the frequencies times the midpoint squared. So all you have to do is use the formulas. So this one should be much, much faster than the previous problem. So remember the mean uh, by definition is equals to uh, the sum of the frequencies times the midpoint divided by the sum of the frequencies. So what will it be in our case? Anybody? What is the number that goes on the top? 65. What about the button? 10. Huh? 10. And this is 6.5. That's it. That's the answer to part A. Is that okay? Speak now, humans. No. Yes. Is that okay? How was that 65? Because of the frequency and the... Yeah, the formula, the formula is this, right? And... The, the sum of the frequencies in the midpoint is 65, which is this value, and the sum of the frequencies is 10. That's it. So you have to do is plug it in. That's all. Okay, so then you just divide it. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. And I remember, these formulas are given in the formula sheet. So now the, the, the variance, remember, is the sum of the frequency times the midpoint square, which you have their values, minus the sum of the frequency times the midpoint. So you're going to need a calculator for this. Divide by the sum of the frequencies. This looks a lot more impressive than what it is, okay? Because you already have the numbers. Okay. So this one is this value right here. So this is 695. What about this one? How much is this value? 65. 65. And then you have to square that. And then uh, divide by the sum of the frequencies, which, what did I say it was? 10, right? And then everything divided by how much do you think it is? Nine. Nine. All right, so make sure that you square this value first, divide by 10, and subtract. So let's do that one step at a time. How much is 65 squared divided by 10? All right, yes. So this is... Uh, Six ninety. It's very important that you follow the order. Okay, so this is six ninety five minus uh, four twenty two point five divided by ten. So if you subtract that from six uh, ninety five, then that will give you minus two seventy five uh, minus two seventy two point five, and then divide by uh, by ten. So this should be twenty seven point twenty five. Is that okay? By nine, yeah, divide by nine, divide by nine. So then, uh, so what is it? So what is that? I got 30.2 with like six sevens and an eight. Okay, so 30.1? 30 30.2, seven, 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 eight. Okay, seven, seven, eight, like this? Yeah, my 
calculated, it shows me like six sevens and then the eight. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. Let's, this is fine. This is okay. All right. So remember, this is the, the variance. So therefore, the answer for the variance, remember, the this is the symbol for the variance. A square is equals to 30.7, uh, 277A. Okay. So that's the variance. The standard deviation is the square root of that. So what's the square root of uh, that value right there? Uh, is 5.4979. So you run it to two places, it will be 550. So you're right. Okay. Well, first, for me, it comes out straight 5.50 5 after a square root of like that. No, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's good. That's good. And well, finally, the model class. This one looks complicated. This is the easiest one. Just look to the. This, remember, these are the classes. You have one, two, three, four classes. Which one has the biggest frequency? No, frequency. Four. Which which is the biggest frequency? Phi, right? The first one. Yeah. So therefore, the model class is the class from uh, 0 to 4. That's it. Okay? So that's it. Any questions?